Alright, let's get straight into it. The manga I'm gonna put you on today is called The Executed Sage is reincarnated as a lick and starts an all-out war. Why is the title so damn long? I couldn't tell you. But I can assure it's quality even though it only has like 8-ish chapters. It's like my great grandpa always told me, manga, don't recommend poop manga or you're never gonna get a girlfriend. Damn geezer. Getting back on topic, it starts out by showing the great sage and hero being put on trial for god knows why. Just some stupid reason they made up to try and get rid of them. To be honest the hero's reasoning makes completely zero sense to me. Like literally she says if that can be accomplished with me being sacrificed, then I'll gladly accept it. What drugs are you on woman? Wanting to let yourself die for human nature SMH. But don't mind me, I'm just venting. Proceeding with the video after they get executed the sage goes ape shit at seeing her death, and you guessed it, he reincarnated as a lick. Wait how do you know? Oh yeah I forgot it's in the title. The process of how he did it didn't make that much sense to me, manga logic I guess. I like the art though so I don't care. He goes through the whole, I'm gonna hold your dead body even in death stage of a breakup before finally doing something about it. But it didn't change the fact he was heartbroken so, after breathing in some black farts he decides to vent on the simps who want his girl. So after getting it out of his system he takes her bones and starts off his conquest. And oh man they are so fucked. Like the minute they laid eyes on him not even, from when they got up from the bed this morning they were fated to die. How shitty is that? I don't know, if I should be sympathetic, or giddy at their impending doom. Okay I got a little off track there. Where were we? Ah yes. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot his name so I'm just gonna call him Lick. Lick ends up venting some more on the poor souls who thought he was a level 1 skelly, and ended up going batshit and eating each other, must have been hungry. This is where it starts to pick up a bit as Lick finally begins testing the power he got from the black farts. As you can see. After getting his necromancer profession to level, Foryulik had the ability to raise a whole army of walking stick figures, and raise the city at a moderate pace. I'm sure you can guess why. Skipping some of the less interesting parts he ends up beating the shit out of a door like it owed him money. Like just happened to stumble upon the human shit stain of an emperor, while he was physically abusing the door. But since he was a witness to the crime he had to eliminate him. But you know manga logic and also he first revealed his identity, so he could know who killed him. Then he asked the emperor why did he kill them, and then well you can see for yourselves, since I can't be bothered to narrate a flashback and stuff. So while he's flashbacking I'm gonna vent some more. Why can't he resurrect the hero? How much sense does it make for the main character to gain his abilities off of inhaling noxious gases, aka black farts? Why am I oh? Flashback's over. Proceeding. After the panel long flashback was over he used words, and it was super effective causing him to go insane in a matter of seconds. Seeing as he couldn't communicate anymore he finally eliminated the old vast I mean emperor and got on with his day. Honestly I don't see the reason why he even bothered asking him why he did it as I have a sneaking suspicion that he already knew the reason. Just commit murder and get on with your day. Although I'm not gonna lie his life decision making skills aren't the best seeing as he decides to take refuge in the place he just fucking raised, but whatever. Although who doesn't love a bit of chaos? Let me rephrase. I love a bit of chaos. Actually I like a lot of chaos. But we're gonna get there. Soon. 